Uh, today's uh, trick that we're trying to show our uh, investigative uh, comrades is the use of uh, ankle weights. Uh, I've got a couple of different sizes. I think these are two and a half pounds. I think this is a 10 pound, probably more like a 150 pound ankle weight. Okay, not really. It's probably a, a 10 pound ankle weight. They come in very handy when you're out in the field and you've got a, a claimant that's really active in a, an activity that's already going on. And you wanna be able to stabilize your camera and be able to move your car with your camera running at the same time. Uh, I would say in the 20 years that I've been doing this, I probably use this apparatus somewhere to between 1,500 times. It's always proven to be really effective, and we'll show you how we use it. Uh, today we are working a, a case uh, on the outskirts of uh, Westminster. Basically, you know, we're about halfway through our day here. We're going to see what the claimant's up to. Just now that the garage door has opened up, and I can see a car pulling out. Uh, I'm not concerned about what this person's doing. I'm more concerned about getting myself prepared for the pursuit. Uh, I'll worry about the license plate and whatnot later, and uh, we'll take it from here. Uh, I can see from my surveillance position, a couple hundred yards ahead of me, the claimant is making a left turn into a kind of a shopping center type facility. Uh, and I have actually noticed that the claimant is pulling into a self-wash car wash. I can still see from my position here that the claimant just pulled himself into this facility, but I'm not concerned about getting videotape right now. What I'm concerned about is I'm going to document the complex that he's in right now. I'm going to show the address off the, the building up here next to this Rite Aid where we're at. And now I'm going to get out of my car. What I'm doing now is I'm going to put myself in a position where I can get videotape right when I pull in. So I'm, putting my, I'm setting my camera up. I'm getting various ankle weight sandbags that you wear around your legs. And I'm putting it on my tripod to stabilize my tripod. I got a couple of smaller ones as well, a couple of big, uh, bigger ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm turning my camera on. And I'm pulling back so I have a very wide angle on it. I've got it on autofocus right now. Now that the camera's running, I'm going to proceed to go to the car wash and I'll show you what my next step's gonna be. So as of right now, my camera is rolling. I can actually look in my rear view mirror and see obviously see my, where my camera's obviously pointed and stuff. So I'm gonna pull into the, I'm gonna pull in probably when I come around this corner into a uh, stall or the vacuuming section of the car wash. I can see in my rear view mirror that he's not paying attention to me. I'm immediately getting into my car, turning off my car and getting out. I'm now getting in the back of my car like I'm looking for something in case he happens to be watching me. I can see from my surveillance camera I have got a really good surveillance going right now I can see him perfectly from head to toe I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit to show a little bit more videotape of him and then I'm gonna go about like I'm cleaning my car and stuff like that I've got great position right now of watching this guy he's paying no attention to me at all the cameras rolling we've got a situation where we're not zooming in and zooming out and we're getting some good videotape. He's now uh, apparently done washing his car and he's getting back into his car. So I'm going to kind of uh, finish my particular job right now. The important thing that I wanted to get across to you guys today was the use of the sandbags. Uh, they make a very stable um, surface to videotape off of. It's great for work. It's great, great for construction sites. It's great for people who are outside their house. There's a lot of times where you'll you pull into a neighborhood and you'll see a guy, um, you know, maybe a case that you worked before. So the moment you get on the street, you know the guy's active. You pull over to the side real quick. You set up the sandbag. You turn your camera on, and then you pull farther down the street. The real key that I've always found is 
is the moment you stopped your, your surveillance vehicle, if you get out of your car and you walk away from your car, you immediately diffuse the situation. And, it, and it's no longer a quote-unquote strange car in the neighborhood. The guy looks over, the claimant looks over, they see you, they see you get out of your car and you walk off, they think you're just parking. They see you go to somebody's house, again, you walk up to somebody's door, pretend like you're knocking on the door. A lot of times, just that small step of going to a person's door diffuses the situation enough where the claimant is no longer looking at your vehicle or paying you any attention, and then you go back to your car, you, sn you slip in the car, and you're, and you're taking videotape. But if your camera's already running before you even stop, I'm telling you, it's, it's just a matter of getting some practice of knowing how your camera is and stuff like that and, and, and where you have to be as far as zooming in and zooming back out. Thank you.